there guys. Come out today just to have a little bit of a chill, make myself some lunch. I've been out and about this morning doing uh, some filming for another video, but um, I thought today would be a good day. I've got this lovely sun after a day of rain yesterday to bring out my titanium bush box XL. I've um, not used this on the channel yet. I've had a quick burn of it at home. I've had it for a few months now actually, so uh, it'd be good to get out and uh, do some actual cooking on it. You've probably seen me use the uh, pocket stove one from uh, Bushbox. I've had that on a lot of my camps over the summer just because of the type of camping I've been doing and that's been perfect. Um, but I bought this off the back of seeing this. So I've had this a little while. Um, Bushcraft Essentials sent it to me, um, which I'm very grateful for. And it seems like the perfect kind of stick burning hobo stove. So um, go have a little closer look at it and uh, get some food on. Right, so it comes in this nice pouch, put other things in there as well, and if we get that out there. Oh, that's something I might do in another video. These are quite cool that they do as well, they're like uh, survival cards, they've got like fishing hooks and spear ends and things like that on. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at them another time I think. Um, and this is it. So one of the reasons I wanted this, because it's a bit bigger than the um, sort of hobo stove I've been using, the kind of cheapo one. Um, these just slot into these slots here, these kind of trivets. And the whole thing is all hinged, opens up, and inside your ashtray just collapses down. And then so does that shelf as well. And it's just that quick to deploy hate fiddling around with the ones where you have to put the ends in and hook them in and everything. This, you know, that's seconds to deploy that from the uh, from the bag. These you can just shove on and you're basically ready to roll. You do also have a grill, they do a, a larger grill as well but this one fits perfectly on there so you shouldn't have any kind of temperature variances making it uh, warp or anything and so uh, we'll give that going a bit as well but yeah it's a, a very well engineered piece of kit um, it's from Germany so you'd expect that really <laughs> but um yeah I absolutely love it um, just the build quality I'll uh, give you a close-up of the uh, kind of hinge system it's very clever the way it's been done um, but yeah it's it's extremely nice um, obviously being titanium for the size it is very lightweight as well and I'll, uh, I'll put that on the screen because I don't know off the top of my head um, but yeah today's not really a review I just want to um, try it out and uh, see how it works for me The wood today here is very damp from yesterday, even though it's quite sunny today, so uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, I've put some bigger stuff on the bottom, and I'm just going to put in some smaller stuff now. There's going to be a variety of ways of doing this, and uh, I'm just going to play around and see what works best for this stove over the next few times that I use it. Got some birch bark, even though it is a bit damp. And I'm going to put the trivets on now. So we're all ready. And I'm just going to light up a piece of birch bark with a lighter. Couldn't see much birch bark, so have to make the most of what we've got here. A little bit damp, but it's going. Oh, I spoke too soon. So I'll put some smaller stuff in while that takes.
I'm doing some uh, potatoes again, like I did with the steak. It's more of like a kind of a mountain man breakfast, I guess you could call it. I've got potatoes and um, onion, some sausage meat, and uh, some eggs, and a few spices as well. Could start putting some slightly bigger stuff on here now. And this is your feed hole at the front here when you've got a pan on. It's nice to know I don't have to clear up a campfire today. Well, we'll get the pan on now. I'm going to use cast iron, give it a real test. And some oil. Well, the first test a cup of tea's worked pretty well, so uh, we'll see how it does with this cast iron. I'll just get that heated up and we'll uh, cook our breakfast lunch. Alright, I'll get some of this potato in. That should probably do. It's got one of these silicon handles on the skillet, they're really good. Just slot over and allow you to handle the pan. Getting a nice temperature at the moment off of that, it's uh, got a good sizzle on. So we'll be ready for our next ingredient soon. Right, I'm going to stick in some sausage meat. And a few onions. And I'm going to hit it with some of that Smoky Davidson spice. There you go, you can just see how it's burning away there. Nice and gentle. It's doing good. That time I put in my eggs, I think the residual heat in there is by far enough now. Well, that should have enough residual heat now just to finish off. I've just taken the pan off and um, I did buy a bread roll specifically to try out the um, kind of hot plate or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, haven't got any gloves with me today. Uh, I think you can put it in that way but uh, let's see what we can do. Should just rest on the trivets anyway there. Well, ideally I wanted that just to be coals at this point because I don't really want to be putting the bread straight on a flame but I'll give it a go anyway because I don't want my food to get cold. We just stick it on like so. Shouldn't take more than a few seconds really. 
but as I said, it was a bit hot for the bread. Just needs to be coals and embers really to do that. But I've got me some MRE hot sauce with me as well today. Thanks to Tom Outdoors who doesn't like it and keeps giving them to me. I'm just gonna, it's already got some spice on there, so I'll just put a little on here. And we'll tuck in. Nice runny eggs. Get some onion, sausage and uh, potato. Mmm. Mmm. Doing potatoes this way is becoming one of my favourite ways. Probably going to be seeing a lot more of that on the channel. I do love how nothing sticks to a well seasoned cast iron skillet. Brilliant things. Well, I didn't think I was going to finish that, but I did. Now this thing is still really hot, it's still got some embers in the bottom there. But just to show you, the trivets here are only warm. I mean it's not under flame at the moment, but uh, it is hot. And uh, if I take them off, I can then use these different holes. Which you can also use to put a uh, spirit burner in there. And uh, I can move the stove. So if you wanted to move it after you've lit it, you can do. And uh, you can uh, empty it out if you want to, which I'm gonna do. Just cleared this space on the ground here and I'm just gonna empty out the remaining coals, just so that cools a bit quicker. I'm just gonna douse that with some water or plenty with me. Just make sure that's all out properly. Then I can just cover that over. One thing you don't want to do is uh, cool this down too rapidly. So whatever you do, don't pour water on it or anything like that. Um, it's uh, going to cool down very quickly. I can already touch that and hold on to it. So that's nearly ready for me to just fold up and pack away. Well, and that's all she wrote. So this only took a minute if that to um, cool down. So inside there, you can just flip up that tray and then flip up your ashtray. And that just concertinas down. And your trivets. They can go into these slots, and that's it. All ready to go back in the pouch. Simple as that, and quite efficient as well because I didn't even use all the wood I cut, and I've got some more ready to cut if I needed it, so yeah, did well there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It uh, wasn't one of my usual videos, but I just wanted to give this a go before kind of doing like a review or anything like that. I will do a video of it more in depth at some point, um, but I love it. Um, you can tell because after they sent me this, I bought another one of their stoves, so the build quality is just excellent. Um, I'll put links and stuff down below if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, this was just a little try out really, a little cook in the woods. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I'll stick some other videos up at the end of this one for you to check out if that interests you. Uh, otherwise, I'll uh, see you next week. Goodbye.